Sub guys over dog here. In this video, we're going to be hunting for the potential future airdrop of ZK swap. As usual, before I begin, a couple of disclaimers. First of all, nothing here is financial advice, always do your own research. Secondly, the activities we do here do not guarantee you will get an airdrop or any benefits in the future. And lastly, all the information in the video and description, including links provided as is, so follow at your own risk. And as usual, all links for the video is going to be in description. So ZK swap is a liquidity DAX. It's actually a fork of a well-known Kyber swap. These activities are on the test net. So if you have some girly ETH, you pretty much covered. You don't have to spend anything. And quoting the Medium article, community members who finish all three testing steps will be granted an honorable early supporter role. And then have emoji of the airdrop. Tasks are pretty simple. We'll need to make some swaps, add liquidity, remove liquidity, and then provide the feedback. For the wallet, we're going to be using the MetaMask. First, we go to chain list, click include test nets, and then girly. And then we need to add ZK Sync Era Testnet. Be sure it's error, not light. Okay, once we did that, we need to go to the bridge, connect MetaMask, and bridge some assets. So I'm gonna bridge one ETH, and now we have to wait a little bit. And it looks like you're also getting other testnet tokens here when you're using this bridge. Okay, now we can actually go to the app connect the wallet and do some swaps. I also know that we need to wrap some ETH uh, in order to provide liquidity with it. So I'll just do 0.3 here. I'm not gonna play with the gas since it's test net. I think they really should do like those sliders with like percentages, 25, 50%. I think these are useful insufficient liquidity can you swap to usdc wait also insufficient liquidity where is liquidity check the pools you have to do the eth pair either way and what's weird though also isn't that supposed to oh wait wait what the heck is that there is no way they're giving me this amount of usdc there's no, no way. Come on. Transaction submitted. How is there so many USDC? Is there like a USDC faucet where you can get unlimited amounts of USDC? I just don't understand. What if I do die, for example? Insufficient ZK, wait. It's not properly changing. It's not properly reacting on on the coins like if i choose die here it's not automatically changes still shows on sufficient zk usdc balance well now it shows properly you have to make a clicks it shouldn't be like this but okay but now i'm gonna go to pools so you can create pool or you can uh, add to somebody else's pool i suppose CVL, mostly USDT, ETH. How the hell you get USDT from ETH? What, what is this? Jesus. Dude, nothing works. Like, the responsiveness of this form is god awful. Now it actually shows me proper exchange rates before it was like not responding really okay whatever let's go to pools okay let's try to add here use dc eth active high yields high risk passive let's do passive if i do half and i do another half you, you, you can't even do it how how what what amount this is ridiculous at this point I mean, I get it, it's testnet, but still. You know what's funny though? You go on Discord and testnet channel. Everything's fine, very comfortable site, works well, no issues, perfect. You know these people haven't tested shit and just came here for the airdrop. The dark side of airdrop hunting, try to get the proper feedback. 
insufficient ZK dub. What? Why is it in the case? Die balance. Oh my god. Stop lagging, please. 10,000. Oh my god. This is literally, it's not responsive, man. It's not responsive. I don't know. It's, it, you change something in the form and it just doesn't respond ever. Ever. I kind of just want to swap half of my wrapped ETH into uh, one of the stables. I don't care at this point, like everything works like really crappy. So I don't really care. I'm just gonna go and try to pull this and hopefully we don't run into any issues. ZKUSDT, okay, that's the one. I'll do passive max. Okay, this works. This works fine. Approve. Okay, finally. It was like one minute. We've added liquidity. Now we need to remove some liquidity. These buttons or this. It should be on swaps too, it's just very convenient. So I'm gonna remove 25% of the liquidity. Okay, and then we need to go to my pools, take screenshot of that, and then you post it on the Discord in a testnet feedback channel, this channel with your wallet address and your feedback. And last but not least, they also have Zilli. You can do some uh, quests here too. And actually there is a badge that says early supporter role, uh, which you can get if you uh, acquire 500 experience. You can just do daily check-ins basically if you don't wanna do like invites and stuff. The only thing that I'm not sure about if this supporter role is the same as like this supporter role. So I'll suggest just do both. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and I'll see you next.